What's up, mini fans? Welcome back for another episode of me giving you my two cents that really don't matter at all. But today we've got a really exciting video. It's the release, the official release of the new mini Ace Mint. I've already done a video like this on the Cooper and the Countryman where I share my opinion. You can go check those out if you haven't already. Um, and this car kind of sits in between them in terms of size and maybe some other specs. I don't really know. We're gonna look at it together for the first time right now. So let's go ahead and get into looking at the mini Aceman for the first time. And I'm gonna give you my two cents on the whole thing. All right, so here we go, exciting times. Let's look at it. There it is, the new Aceman. Oh, it looks pretty good in this like red orange color. Oh man, it is, it is exactly the size that I really want for my country wing. Really nice interior, that green interior. Love the wheels. A lot of uh, plastic trim around the bottom and sides. Uh, I th think it's a little more of a rugged look. And then we have what I think might be a third taillight design. Uh, it's very similar to the Countryman's, but uh, not as narrow. So it looks a little bit more like the current uh, F-Series Mini Cooper brake lights, about that shape. A little more squared off circle, squircle. Um, yeah, uh, back end, you have the Aceman badge. You kind of got this brushed uh, aluminum trim uh, spoiler on the bottom. It's really giving off R60 first generation Countryman vibes. I, I like it a lot. I'd love for it to be in the States, but you know how that goes. Um, so we won't get that for a while. Uh, so I'm gonna have to stick with the current Countryman for now. But yeah, nice wheels. This red, this red, this red color, uh, I can't tell if it's red or orange from these, but I'm really digging it. See if we can find out some more details about the car itself. Initial impressions, the looks, pretty good. Pretty sporty, got a lot of black trim on the bottom. I don't know how I feel about that just yet, but as with any new Mini, it takes a few minutes to grow on you, so I'm sure it'll be fine. So this car really looks like a combination of the Cooper and the Countryman. It's like literally looks are somewhere in between, just like the car in terms of size is somewhere in between. The front end is very Cooper-ish with the, uh, with the new hood style. Uh, the headlights are a bit countryman-ish. The plastic trim uh, along the bottom is very countryman-esque. But yeah, it, it's, it's a sharp looking car. With that trim, it kind of looks like it slants up uh, ever so slightly towards the back. And it's got a badge down there at the bottom. That's new, it looks very uh, Jeep-ish maybe, I guess. But yeah, and I, all electric, yeah, we knew that. It should have the same interior as the rest of the Mini family. Wheels look sharp. I really like the taillights. These are really the F series, the current Mini Cooper series uh, taillight shape. The, the new Countryman's are a little bit narrower and taller, I believe, uh, because it's just a bigger body panel overall in the back. And then the, uh, the Coopers are that triangle shape. Uh, but I, I like the shape of these taillights. I hope to see these on the Cooper one day. Uh, looks like we got a some rails and a, doesn't look like it's, an opening sunroof. It's very similar to the Cooper where you just have a, a, a piece of glass you can look out up at the top. Again, we have those LED headlights that have look like they have the drive, the, the certain modes, three different modes. So as you can see here, we have a top and a bottom. We have a full uh, a surround uh, daytime running light. And then we have this, let's call it an eyebrow, right? Eyebrow shape. So that's, that's probably tied to the driving modes. Uh, pretty cool, really fun little uh, thing you can do with the new g generation of minis. This is an Aceman and an Aceman S, uh, pretty on brand. So with 181, 84 to 218 horsepower, again, all electric. And it's looking like it's gonna have a range of about 250 miles, give or take. It's 406 kilometers, that's the estimated range. Uh, okay, so these are the 19 inch hexagram spoke two-tone wheels, really like those. Let's watch this video here for a second. Yep, fully electric, we knew that. That mini badge on the bottom, that is pretty cool. Pretty rugged looking uh, little car. I kind of wish that was on the Countryman, but they have that up in the, the blade. Uh, let's take a look at this interior here. Yeah, that green interior, that's pretty cool looking, pretty sharp looking, it stands out, it's different. You're not gonna find a green interior like this on many vehicles. 60-40 split, and then that boot lid. It looks a little small with that high bumper, but maybe that matches up with the uh, floor in terms of being pretty flush there. We'll have to wait and see when we can see one in person. 
in a few years here in the US. So the color of that green, very similar to the countryman's uh, green, is dark petrol. Very interesting name of this green, petrol, when these are seen in the electric minis. I'm not sure why they chose that name, but whatever, that's just the name of the color. So this is the essential trim. Uh, these are the options that you get. And then the classic trim, fabric seats with the houndstooth pattern, the three spoke steering wheel, the radiator grill in high gloss black. High gloss black looks great, scratches easily. You gotta be really careful when you're detailing it, but I would choose a high gloss black over a chrome uh, finish any day. Okay, here we go, favorite trim. And here's that color that I like. Um, does it tell us the name of it? Okay, so here the radiator grill surround, the front and rear exterior accents are in the vibrant silver. Not the same as chrome. I know I just said I'm not a fan of chrome. The vibrant silver is not the same as chrome. I've seen it in person. It doesn't have that same shiny look to it. Um, it's more of a brushed aluminum look, which I think looks a lot better as an accent. And I'm sure there'll be some third-party options to make that a gloss black piece if you want to in the future. Optional multi-tone color roof. Love the multi-tone roof. And then the JCW trim. Again, on par with the JCW uh, Cooper. Really love that front end. The Countryman headlights on the Cooper nose. And then the badge, that oblong badge. Uh, we don't get a shot of the badge, do we? And of course not. Oh, but that badge, I think, looks really sharp right there. That J the new JCW badge on the side. And we have the interior with the looks like the projector on the back of the screen, under dash lights, indoor lights, all these ambient lights everywhere. I think there might be ambient lights up in the sunroof. I'm not sure. I haven't been able to confirm that, but it looked like that might have been in one of those shots. Let's talk about some specs for a minute. The uh, Ace Min... E has a uh, 0 to 100 kilometers, 0 to 60 time in 7.9 seconds, nothing crazy. Um, and the 0 to 60 on the Mini Aceman SE uh, has a 0 to 67.1 seconds, so almost a second faster uh, with 218 horsepower. And they do that with a 42.5 kilowatt hour battery on the Aceman and a 54.2 kilowatt hour battery on the Aceman SE. And that one is probably the one that has the 406 or 252 mile uh, range. Size wise, this is literally in between the Cooper and the Countryman. It is eight centimeters longer than the Cooper, but nine centimeters shorter than the Countryman, putting it quite literally in between the two cars. Uh, I think it's a gr I think it's a really great size. Uh, it's, it's really the same size as the first gen R60 Countryman, which I currently own. I really love that size. So they're saying this is the bigger brother of the Mini Cooper, uh, electric Mini Cooper, and it offers five doors. So does that mean that the Mini Cooper five door isn't going to come back? Um, that's something I'd kind of be okay with. I was never really a fan of that car. I thought it was kind of trying to take over the Clubman, um, RIP Clubman. So they're really touted that the Mini Aceman has a small turning radius, a tight turning um, circle, along with the parking assistant means that you could park this car very easily in the city. I could park the Countryman pretty easily in the city uh, anywhere I go. So yeah, I would agree with that statement. So yeah, this is the Aceman. It's in between the Cooper and the Countryman. It is really, really close to the same size as the first generation R60 Countryman, but this is the J05 Aceman. So using the same powertrain and batteries as the electric Mini Cooper. Um, I love those rear tail lights. I think that's my favorite part of the new car. The uh, oblong badge on the bottom looks uh, neat, interesting. I think it'll grow on me as time goes on. Again, it looked a little Jeep-ish uh, to start, but I'm sure and some of those packages will look cool. Uh, there is the packages that you can get, the four different packages. I think they all offer something really cool. I love the full green petrol interior. Um, which is something that the Countryman has, the front half being petrol, and then it fades to a brown, which is, is really sharp looking, a Chesterfield brown, leather brown type look. Uh, but this one, an, an all green or petrol, again, really weird name of a green color on an all electric um, family. Uh, what you would call it. So yeah, those are my two cents. Now tell me what you think about the new Mini Aceman. Yay, nay, what do you like, what don't you like? I'm a fan, I love that new launch color, this orange or red, whatever, it is, whatever it's gonna be called. Uh, really like that a lot. The wheels, really like the new wheel packages that they're, that they're showing off. Um, and 
overall, I think it's a winner. I just wish it was going to be here a lot sooner than it actually is going to be here in the US if it ever makes it here. Uh, fingers crossed that it will. But for now, leave any questions, comments you have down below about that new mini Ace Bin, and I'll try to respond to as many as I can. And as always, when you see other minis out there, don't forget to wave, especially if you see this brand new Ace Bin out there. Better wave to it. All right, catch you later.